the Poco F1 shattered almost all of its competition in its price range back in 2018 in terms of processing power. It's been 3 years since then and the people have been asking for a successor. And there has been no sign of it until now. Can the Poco X3 Pro be the light at the end of the tunnel for all the Poco F1 fans? Well, let's find out. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon as well so that you do not miss out on any of our latest videos. So this is the Poco X3 Pro's box. We can see Poco's usual black and yellow packaging here with Poco X3 written on the top. And on the back, it has all the important specifications. Starting with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 SoC, 120Hz Full HD Plus display, a 48MP primary rear camera and a 5160mAh battery. We can also see a couple of other features written over here. The official pricing of the Poco X3 Pro starts at Rs 18,999 for the 6GB 128GB variant and goes up to Rs 20,999 for the 8GB 128GB variant. So let's go ahead and unbox the device. I'll just cut open the tabs here with the knife and the first thing we are greeted with is the SIM ejector tool followed by a TPU case and some paperwork. When we dig deeper we get to see the POCO X3 Pro in all its glory. Let's now put it aside and take a look at what else there is in the box. So we get a 33W fast charger and a USB Type-A to Type-C cable with orange accents. Let's now get back to the device. The blue color looks attractive and the phone isn't very heavy. The area with the POCO logo has a glossy finish whereas the panels on either side have a matte finish which feels really nice. The glossy part is a fingerprint magnet and is very reflective. The POCO X3 Pro sports a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus display with 120Hz refresh rate. There's a 20 megapixel punch hole front camera for selfies. Under the hood, the POCO X3 Pro packs in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 SoC with an integrated Adreno 640 GPU. We also have a 5160mAh battery that will run the POCO X3 Pro. On the bottom, we have a headphone jack, USB Type-C port, speaker and a microphone. On the left, we have the SIM tray which is hybrid, so you can use either two nano SIMs or one SIM and one micro SD card. On the top, we have an IR emitter and a secondary microphone. Finally, on the right, we have the volume buttons and the power button which also acts as a fingerprint sensor. Now, let's take a look at the rear cameras. We have a quad camera setup here led by the 48 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Of course, there is an LED flash to complete the setup. The POCO X3 Pro runs MIUI 12 based on Android 11 out of the box. So this was our unboxing and first impression of the POCO X3 Pro. We'll be doing a detailed in-depth review of this phone very soon, so stay tuned to the channel. And as always, for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.